Hello, my name is Bonsby. I thought that it'd be fun to make a little video going through my January 2022 through February 2023 sketchbook. Um, it's my most recently finished sketchbook, which I know February is not like super recent, but uh, it's this year, so that counts in my eyes. All right. <laughs> We're just gonna jump right into it. Um, these stickers on the front, I don't remember exactly all the artist names. I will try my best to find them. Um, but if I don't, I'm sorry. But if you recognize uh, the this, this sticker from somewhere that's not linked, then please tell me because I would love to properly credit them. So I have, you know, all these guys. Oh, so one on the back here. This little flag that my girlfriend bought me for my birthday ages ago. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, you know what? We're just gonna jump into it. There doesn't need to be a long winded intro. It's just sketchbook time. It's sketchbook time. It's art time. Let's just go. Let's just hop in. Let's just go. Bam. Let's just go. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever made like a little welcome intro page. Um, I usually don't do that and I usually just draw right on the first page but then I realized how much I didn't like just drawing out right on the first page so I give this a try I really liked it I had a lot of fun um yeah it's, <laughs> it's nice and then a uh, little, little sticker that I made um my mom had bought a Cricut um and I wanted to test it out so I bought like sticker paper and stuff and I doodled something and I have to work on making more stickers because it is very fun it is it is, it is very good for the mental health to make your own stickers and have fun with that <laughs> it's very very good for the mental health and then usually in my sketchbooks I have a lot of just like random like scribble pages and stuff I don't typically have a lot of like super worked out art and I just solely like make things to to make things whether or not they look good or bad so you know you'll see a lot of like scribble pages like this where it's just like testing out watercolor and stuff testing out pens and everything um just doodling random characters that i think of like in the moment um these stickers are also ones that i i just printed out and made in my uh, little testy sticker era last year <laughs> and then i also usually never draw like on the the side like this but for some reason like occasionally i was just possessed to to do that um i'm not a furry but like do yourself a favor and follow, draw furries sometimes they're just very fun don't brain just like go for it do whatever make yourself a fursona in my opinion everyone like spiritually has a fursona uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter how like not furry you are like everyone has an animal they would be if they were a furry <laughs> and this was actually a redraw let me find the image okay this was actually a redraw of this of one of my very first like watercolor little paintings that i did um, I used, for both of these actually, I used these little Strathmore watercolor postcards. They're very nice. I quite like them a lot. You can see that they're totally blank on one side and then on the back you can, you know, little stamps just like a normal postcard. I think I haven't really looked at normal postcards before. Um, but these were like the first watercolor type paper things that I got. Um, I like them a lot. I say, as you can see, that I haven't used like any of them. <laughs> Usually my favorite materials I use the least because I want to keep them. Uh, uh, it is the hoarder in my brain telling me to keep things that you like instead of using them. <laughs> um, but OC, uh, uh, one of my OCs that I have. One of my many OCs, <laughs> which you will see throughout this. And then, see, another another sideways image. But, but this, which I really like, um, you can see, actually, I can just look this up. It's a big goober. Um, this, like, sparkle glitter, it is actually paint. Oh, uh, where is it? 
it is this, it is this, it is, it is actually, the, the paint side is, is like clear basically, and the, the glitter is just mixed in with the clear paint, um, but I think it's nice. When I first got it, I thought that it'd be like primarily blue paint with like glitter inside, um, and then obviously I used it and it's totally different. But I do kind of like this totally different look more. Um, it's really nice to just use it as like an accent. And then on this side, just kind of doodled like a lady I saw on Pinterest, um, which is very cute. <laughs> I used washi tape to get this like pattern and stuff on her clothes. You can see that like her, oh, I accidentally slapped my camera. <laughs> Whoops. And you can see, that like her little parts of her is like really shiny and stuff which i believe i don't remember exactly i might have used iridescent watercolor for that but also i don't remember <laughs> one of my wires popping through yeah also i don't remember so um who knows <laughs> it's a mystery and then some more doodles. This one's watercolor oh, scribbling. This one's acrylic paint. I really like how this one came out a lot. I really like how the the uh, the, the blending is on the, the tail and like these little like frills and stuff. I just think it looks really really nice for just like testing out uh, acrylics and stuff because I hadn't really used acrylics very much in the past and I recently got a set and I just wanted to like test out mixing it with it and everything. Um, I think it turned out well. <laughs> That's just me though. And then, uh, and then this was little environment tests that I wanted to draw. I'm not very good at environment so I want to get better at it but also I'm not very good at an environment, so it's hard for me to want to get better at it <laughs> because I'm already not very good, so it's hard to get that motivation. Um, but I'm slowly getting there, <laughs> day by day. And then this side's just a little vent page. Uh, I don't think it needs very much explanation. You'll figure it out. <laughs> And then I really like these two pages. Let's so like let's so the, the top of that. I like this bottom part though. Um, this is all watercolor and like marker. I like this a lot still. It's super messy. I love messy things. <laughs> uh, it's just fun. It's just fun to experiment and like get wild with it, get wacky, get silly with it. It's nice. It, it's it's so nice. And then this is all acrylic down here. Um, I normally would cover up things that I don't particularly like, but um, I, I did still like all the, the yellow and the background and everything. So I'm like, yeah, screw it. I'll just keep it, whatever. I can have, I can have a bad page or whatever that I don't like. I'll, I'll live with it. I'll deal with it. It's fine. <laughs> And then more acrylic scribbling, nothing too serious. Um, this was, I wanted to do some like gesture stuff, but I also wasn't really feeling it. Um, so it's, it's whatever. I just added hearts to it <laughs> to like fill up the space. Nothing too, nothing too wild, nothing too serious, crazy. And then here's another sideways one. I don't know what, po what constantly possessed me to do this, um, but just an OC. I use markers and, and what not to scribble something out and then another OC on the other side which I still really like this one I think it's so cute um let me see I think I just used marker for this this is a mixture of watercolor and, and colored pencil I believe this is mostly marker just by like touching it and stuff and like looking at it <laughs> and then wow, these I have just gotten, where is it? I have just gotten, let's grab one. I need a little badge. Um, some watercolor pencils, specifically favorite Castell ones. Uh, they're, just, they're fun to use. They're, cause, let me see. So usually what 
is the most fun for me is I, I get my little watercolor brush and then I, you know, I wet it and then I use the, the tip as like the palette almost. Um, you get the most color out of it that way. I think it's fun to do. <laughs> I think it's fun to do. Or you can just like scribble it in and then paint over it. Whatever works for you. I, I like messing with both methods. A variety of things. Uh, I want to redraw this one though. This is definitely something I, I plan to redraw in the future. I can do better. I know I can. I want to do better. <laughs> These are just more scribbles, mixture of watercolor and color pencil. The sticky note is here because I was doing some signature practice and I'm just gonna cover that up because I don't want it on the internet. <laughs> it's a bit too personal for me to post online on a YouTube video, so that will just stay covered. And then, ooh. And then here's a the little stuffed animal that I have. I can I can add in a little picture of him. His name's Dinky. <laughs> I named him Dinky. It's very cute. He's very soft and he's very nice. <laughs> and then, not not a character of mine, just just something I wanted to do. I like how this came out a lot. Uh, uh, the pose and like the colors and all of it. <laughs> I just like it. I think it's nice. And then, ooh, this is when I got. Uh, I, I ordered gouache online, got it, and I freaking ran to my sketchbook to test it out. Um, <laughs> and I just, I just had to use it like the same day, so I just, I just scribbled a bit. Um, yeah, first like just testing out like mixing and everything, and then I tried to do like a whole big thing, which was very difficult because I didn't know what I was doing. But I learned a lot from not knowing what I was doing. <laughs> and then even more uh, uh, gouache tests. Even more. This one was a different brand than these. Uh, uh, and then this one is actually the same brand as these. So just just mix and match and seeing what, what I like the best works out for me and I really like the colors in this one so I think I do like this brand more it's much easier to use and just much more vibrant and just like softer if that makes sense you kind of want I don't know I think it's nice to have my gouache paints being softer if that makes sense <laughs> I think it makes sense <laughs> And then, ooh, this is, I, I started getting really into weird core stuff, so I wanted to, to kind of doodle something. Uh, and involving that, like, in, at pictures and, and whatnot. And then, this is just more watercolor and, and marker. What I really like doing, or what I really like mixing with, with my basic watercolor are, are these Tombow... Uh, uh, water-based markers. They're very nice. They they blend really nicely with water, and they're also not very expensive. I will say. Um, definitely, if you want any water-based markers, I recommend these Tombow ones. They're good, <laughs> in my opinion. They're good. And then just, just more, just more marker. This one is actually i think this is like mostly or actually i'm doubling back i think these ones are the the little tombow ones i'm pretty sure because the the brush strokes look like it and this one is is all acrylic and i really like this one a lot it's very i thought it was very creative with it um just all acrylic and stuff and then i use sticky notes or i wrote on sticky notes like all these words and stuff and then I just kind of ripped them out and glued them on the page. Kind of like a little collage. I thought it was fun. Oh, I did take a little sip. I was talking so much. I had to take a little sip. 
stop shaking. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is all acrylic. This is, this one's just based off of a really nice picture I saw on Pinterest. And I wanted to try to do it. Um, I think it turned out nice. <laughs> I'm not like super happy with the pose and stuff, but I'm so happy with the colors. I think it was a really good just color test to mess around more with mixing acrylics and everything. And then this was even more uh, a little watercolor, watercolor pencil doodles. Um, I was going to 3D model a world, but then I got lazy and I didn't do it. <laughs> but these are just some concepts that I was going to do for it. And then these were just, you know, generic marker pen duels. Um, I tried to redraw this sticker. Eh. 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 It's alright, but whatever. <laughs> but whatever. Whatever. Not everything can be perfect and that's totally fine. And then this is just like a, <laughs> a receipt that I glued onto the page and then drew over it. Um, it's just a grocery list. It's nothing, nothing serious. You can see that like I got bagels and, and whatnot. I think it's kind of funny. And then, oh wait, actually reading this. Uh, uh, when I was in Scotland visiting my girlfriend. Uh, which one? Where is it? Okay, yeah, these were also from Scotland. Scotland, Scotland. And then there's probably a few more forward that are also when I was still visiting my girlfriend. It was like a three month trip. It was very fun. <laughs> yeah, these are also from Scotland. You can see my little Fairy's chocolate orange sticker and like our grocery. <laughs> it's a sticker from like strawberries or whatever that I got. I love taking like fruit stickers and, and, and putting them places. I don't know, I just like the aesthetic of fruit stickers and like price tags and stuff. I think they look nice. But yeah, uh, uh, yeah, all this watercolor, all this marker, very fun. <laughs> and then these are also, I was still in Scotland. Um, mixture of like marker color pencil watercolor yeah this one's all just like marker color pencil just little experiment testings you know i'd say i don't like what i said but just a little experiment there you go <laughs> and then this is when i got back uh i just made a whole like sticker page i didn't know what to draw I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of sad getting back home to the US. So I just made a big old sticker page. And then I uh, got some, where are they? If you don't know Item Label, they make these little, these little friends, boop, 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 called, these ones are called Weeby. <laughs> a little squeaker in them. Yeah, yeah, my Item Label, uh, a very, very fun company. I quite like them a lot. So I have that dude, he was the one in reach. I have two other ones, and then also a, a Phoebe, which is a longer one. Still just as, just as a fun lad. <laughs> other designs and, and art and everything for their shop is very fun. If you don't know them, I definitely recommend checking them out. They're, they're fun. <laughs> that's, that's the most I can say. Is that they're fun. Um, but I just wanted to, to paint a bunch of them with my acrylics. Um, and I, I really like how, how just like dorky they look. <laughs> they just look so silly and like fun and just kind of weird. And I like that. I think that's, I think it's very fitting than if something was like super polished and nice. <laughs> And ooh, ooh, I, I think that this is one of my favorite pages. I, I, don't, I just really like how, how vivid like all the colors and stuff are. Like, uh, like she is entirely watercolor. 
obviously with, uh, I said entirely watercolor. Um, I was wrong. <laughs> it's mixture of color, pencil, and watercolor. <laughs> I just like how this turned out a lot. And then, just, I tried to do something similar, but I wasn't really feeling it. So it's just turned into a little, little sticker page. And then, just more like sticker nonsense, because I didn't, I didn't know what to draw, but I wanted to draw. I like doodled like a D&D &D character idea, but then I just never thought about it again when I got it out of my head <laughs> onto a page. Uh, I wasn't very committed to the idea whatsoever. And then, oh, this looks so bright. <laughs> That one looks so bright. The yellow is popping off of the page. <laughs> and then just a little, little clown furry that I made. Um, she's cute. <laughs> That's the most I can say. Is that I don't know, clown, clown furries are fun. <laughs> they're good, they're fun. And then ooh, this is the start of the our fight of 2022. Usually for art fights, I go back and forth digital, just based off of how I feel. Um, yeah, so, so, these are just some characters that I did. This one's just watercolor, colored pencil, uh, uh, this one's actually acrylic. I didn't, I remember I didn't like how she turned out, so I just slapped a, a sticky note over her. And then I just painted in all the white and stuff. But then I turned out really nice. I really like it a lot. And I like how the sticky note just kind of became the background and like blends in really well. And some more funny doodles. Uh, nothing too crazy. Nothing too wild. Just scribbling. Because if you've ever participated in art fight before, you know like you just <laughs> the urge to try and get big score is very great <laughs> the urge to get big score is huge so you just want to like draw a lot well that's that's usually my brain in art fight is big score make big people happy <laughs> and then I remember this was like the last art fight doodle. I didn't like how this turned out, so I think I was gonna redraw it, but then I just never did because uh, I forgot and art fight ended, and I just went, oh well. <laughs> and immediately back into just just messing around with different mediums and stuff. I think yeah, this is like acrylic. Yeah, it totally is. Just start to mess around. And then this was another D and D character concept, uh, much more fleshed out uh, in my brain. Not really visually. <laughs> in my brain, much more fleshed out. I like this one. This is cute. This is cute. That's all I have to say about it. This is cute. And then, ooh, I remember for this one. I was trying to emulate this one, but I didn't remember how I did it. <laughs> um, so I was trying to figure it out. It didn't really work out, uh, but that's all right. <laughs> you can't always be perfect. And then this is just some marker doodling. Some aliens. And then I really like when the colors on the last page bleed onto this one. I think it looks so nice. I don't know why, I just like it a lot. And then for this, Splatoon 3 just came out. <laughs> so I immediately had to draw my little squid out um, and, and have fun with that. And then on this page, a little, little more, little more squid -o drawings, a little octo. And then, and then, you know, back to the usual of, of tests, random tests and whatnot. And then, I like this. This is all watercolor. I like how that turned out a lot. Um, just for, like, not knowing what I was doing and not having a plan. I think it turned out okay. <laughs> Sometimes not having a plan is the plan. Yeah, 
that and then i don't have much to say about this page because this is just more tests um with just like ink and like scribbling just like things off the dome and like i do remember specifically this was like a a little figure that i saw on pinterest that i wanted to doodle because i thought it was really cute then i didn't really like how the art turned out um so i'm just dealing with it sometimes you just have to bad draw sometimes you just have to draw bad things and that's okay <laughs> oh see <laughs> and some some scribbling what is this it's just watercolor it's just a lot of watercolor there <laughs> to say about this page other than just more scribbling i feel like i've said that 300 times is oh here's some scribbles <laughs> i mean that's all i do in my sketchbook i just kind of like scribble i make some good stuff i make some bad stuff um and we just have fun you know all of my art is just kind of about having fun rather than um rather than like trying to get like trying to mid max really good pieces you know, it's it's important to just have fun in your sketchbooks, and I feel like that people forget that sometimes because they want to focus on making like super duper high quality pieces all the time. But you gotta chill out sometimes, you know. You gotta just not know what you're doing. You gotta just have fun, because then when you just have fun, then you can make stuff that you really like. Because I really like both these pages. So it's funny that it can just go from like. You know, whatever page, whatever page, just scribbling page, and then bam, I make something that I like a lot. That's why. That's that's why you gotta you gotta make bad art to make good art, in my opinion. You gotta you gotta get all the bad art genes. I say art. No, let me rephrase that. I liked I liked I like the phrase. You have to make bad art to make good art. <laughs> I think that's that's a better way of phrasing it. This one like scraped on that side a little bit. That's fine. It's I'm back to just, you know, just testing stuff. This is just colored pencil and like is this acrylic? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea what that is. This one is watercolor. <laughs> Sometimes it's really hard to tell what the materials are because I, 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 I'm very much a mixed media artist. I, I always mix and match what I use in things that I make. Um, I just use whatever I feel like. <laughs> These are just some tests. Um, I just want to draw a little cool. I say draw. I just want to paint like a little corridor kind of thing. Um, this one is literally just, uh, just wet in the page, Jen, and then, like, letting everything drip down and seeing how it came out, which I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> I think it's kind of neat. And see, more sideways stuff. This one, I was just mixing stuff. I ended up mixing things too much, and it, like, just got extremely muddy. Um, but whatever. I just put a bunch of stickers all over it <laughs> to, to make it nice. This was actually like a, a test for a different art piece that I was making, um, which I will show. Oop, where's my keyboard? Um, I wanted to do it originally just like on paper and stuff, but I didn't like how this version came out. So I tried to get it on digital and I like it way better on digital, but I'm going to try to do it again later and see if I can do it again on paper, which will be a future project. <laughs> Not right now, though. Whenever I feel like it. And then, again, just more, just more faffing around. As you could tell, I really like drawing this little bob, bob cut girl. <laughs> She's very fun to draw. It's very cute. Uh, this one is just, you know, watercolor messing around washes and, and blending things. This isn't watercolor, I 
think this is gouache. It's the moon thing and all like the stars and stuff. I think that's gouache. I could be wrong. Bam. More scribbling. <laughs> Yeah, there's another, just another two pages that I don't really have anything to say. They just exist, you know? They just kind of exist. I don't hate them. That's a good thing. <laughs> so I'm hailing stuff. I like this one a lot. Uh, I don't know why. I think it's just like how vibrant the colors and stuff are and how they came out. I just think it looks really good. And then I used that like glitter acrylic again to make all the stars and stuff in this. Um, I feel like I should have just gone ham. I, I was like hesitant to use too much, but I think if I just like went buck wild with it, <laughs> that would have been more fun. I'm, like trying to like sourcefully use all the, all the glitter. Yeah, I should have just gone crazy. These are just like pasta stuff. Yeah. These are just pop to do. Um, I was I was trying to design a little spray, a little graffiti tag for one of my characters. Um, I just you know gotta add in the S. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, yeah. I was trying to design a little spray tag for one of my one of my OCs. Um, I don't know anything about graffiti, I will say. <laughs> so I was just scribbling until something kind of looked all right. And then, oh, and then here doodles of said graffiti artist we see, which I still don't know how to draw him. Like, <laughs> I have to draw my OCs over and over and over again until I can figure out like, oh, specific way that I want to draw them. You can never get it done right the first time. It's like. I have to get to know them better before I can uh, <laughs> get them properly, if that makes sense. Oh yeah. This It exists. <laughs> I do kind of like this little, like, doodle. It's, it's very fun and, and kind of kind of sporadic. I don't know if that's the right word to use. It was very just like whatever. I didn't sketch or anything. I just I scribbled whatever came to mind. And then more 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 of this dude. More of this dude. More tests of him. Uh, I was getting there. I, was, I think I was getting there better. But still not quite there yet. Also, Rain World. If you haven't played Rain World, you should play Rain World. It's very very good. It's also very very hard <laughs> but it's a very very good game it's worth it it's worth it's worth the tears and and frustration <laughs> you should definitely play it it's very good i promise and then well i think i was thinking about roosh the bat when i do this i'm not gonna lie i think because it's definitely like a bat character oh um, i think i was thinking about roosh the bat for some reason um, and then this just I think I drew something underneath this but I didn't like it so then I just like threw acrylic paint over it and then I just tried again I think that's what happened or I just like started with the acrylic paint and then just do whatever I don't remember <laughs> um, I like this one a lot still I think it looks really good uh, if I can go back I oh, my camera I think I would cover this part up because I don't like that part. But we deal with our mistakes. We live with them. It is part of the art, and that is okay. This one is all just acrylic. I just want to mess around with like blending things. And then I got bored. <laughs> then I moved on to drawing the next thing because <laughs> I don't feel like working on this anymore. And then little, little dog, little dog fella, little dog fella. This one was supposed to be a a painting of like a Kirby or right scene. There's a little Kirby here, and he's zooming down the racetrack. <laughs> this is a very fun fun test to try to to try to repaint uh, a video game uh, screenshot. Which I definitely want to do more of that. 
interesting. It was very fun. I learned a lot. And just like not worrying about how it looks and just worry about trying to get like the basic shapes and basic colors. It's a very good test. <laughs> and then, and then I wanted to repaint two skills from Disco Elysium, which Disco Elysium is another very good game that you should play and I highly recommend. Um, your life would improve greatly if you played Disco Elysium. <laughs> And then this little comic at the top. Nothing, nothing, nothing too serious. This one is just a, just a little watercolor test page. I want to see how I could like blend colors. Like a, I don't remember exactly what it was supposed to be, like a sunset or something. But even though I don't remember what it was, I still like it. <laughs> That was actually, whoa, that was actually the last page. I thought I had a few more pages to go. I did not even notice. But yeah, that is it. Wow. I just jumped to a random page. <laughs> I have to flip it over. That was it. Thank you for, for joining me. Dang, like I said, I thought I had a few more pages to go. Uh, but no, that was the last one. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that it was already over. <laughs> well, regardless. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this little sketchbook tour. I hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't enjoy, that sucks to be you. Because I enjoyed <laughs> anyways i hope you have a very good day evening whatever and i will see you next time thank you